Today is the 11th 11th and I want to make sure you do not forget to profit from the Chinese single day. Maybe in this mailbag you find some products you would like to order. As usual I have to split it into two parts because it would make no sense if I published the second part next Thursday I will release it this afternoon. So our American friends for once also have a fresh video when they get up in the morning. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Let's start with a clean knife. The first one comes from Post Netherlands. Very special and very dangerous. Caution. Do not load or transport package if damaged. And here even worse. Goods do not fulfilling the conditions laid down in Articles 28 and 29 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union. So we hope that we do not damage the functioning of the European Union because actually Switzerland is still not part of it and I do not want to be guilty for damaging any functioning of this organization. So <laughs> let's open this dangerous package. From, from Blitzwolf. Ah, now I understand what can damage the functioning of the European community. It's a power bank and inside some LiPo batteries, 10,000 milliampere hours. I ordered this one for a special project uh, because it is QC3 uh, compatible and I want to do some tests and want to see if we can use this QC3 compatible stuff for an interesting project. I wait also for a charger, also from Blitzwolf. With these two together I want to do some experiments. So stay tuned. Quite heavy. Ah -ha. You remember my video where I complained that I do not get single black or red DuPont cables and I got a lot of help from my viewers. Thank you very much. They pointed me to several links and here they are. These are female to female and these are female to male. So nobody can tell me I do not have enough black and white. So this is very useful for my designs. Enough for the next few years. Next one. These are TPL. 5111. I already got the 5110 and I will do a video about the two in the future, about low power designs with uh, microcontrollers. These are the ones which are used by Kevin Dara. These are nano power system timer, which means that we can switch off our devices from 100 milliseconds to two hours. And during this time, they nearly use no current, only 35 nanoampere. Cool device, as we saw in the video about the trick board. Next one. No idea what this is. Uh, it might be that this is... Ah, now I think I know what it is. It is a case for a... Raspberry Pi Zero. I still have a few Raspberry Pi Zeros without the box. So I prepared everything.
the screws are in and also the spacers here. And now, now it's finished. And you see, I put the headers in this direction. And in this case, it would have been better to solder them in the other direction. So this was probably not a very good idea, but it's like that now. I cannot change it. To change a 40 pin header, <laughs> this is uh, nothing for the faint hearted. Anyway, a nice case, simple but effective and quite cheap. The next one. Ah, these are the second ones. They are shorter, so they are the long ones and they are the short ones, because quite often I need also shorter ones. I didn't remember that I had also ordered these are female to male, and maybe I ordered also male to male, but I'm eh, female to female, I'm not sure anymore. Next one. case for a Raspberry Pi 3. Oh, this looks really nice. It has a lot of descriptions, HDMI, camera and so on. So I got now my new Raspberry Pi 3 and it's not easy or not obvious. I had to check how this works and you have to remove the button. Ah, now it's okay. And I mount this like that. Put this in place. I learned I have to use a different sequence this goes below these plastics and now it's okay and now I have to, to mount this one and now it's flush. Very good. To show you how this works I got a expansion cable and it works like that. It has a small space here in between and like that the cable can leave the case. Quite an interesting concept. This is now a complete case and if you compare it with other cases um, this is quite well thought out and nicely made also with this laser cut raspberry here. Next one is from DHL and it is from Seed. I asked them for help with my Pixie project and they sent me this one here. Servos and laser cut plastic parts. In one of the last mailbags I got my Pixie 2 and this should fit somehow like that and the two motors. So we have to assemble this one and also train this Pixie camera to get what we saw in the video. But I'm really interested in how these devices work. They are also neatly packaged. And I hope not only the packaging fits, but also the two devices will fit. Both are version 2. Next one. This did not come from China. This came from the United States, even if this box is made in Taiwan. But the rest is made in the US. And this is maybe a quite an interesting Thing. Very well packaged as usual from this source. Gold plated 
and here we have a product maybe a few of you know if i put it like that you might know what this can be most of my viewers know this microcurrent gold from eev block dave this is a very good device to measure very small currents up till nano ampere i use this normally for deep sleep experiments and now felix Ruzu from low power lab built a new one it is somehow similar to the one from dave but it has i think it will come this way but it has a big whoop it has a big difference it has a microprocessor on and this gives it new possibilities and i will do a comparison between the two this is a little bit cheaper this is a little bit more expensive but it might well be worth the money and it's also not easy usually to get this device from dave he very often was sold out in the last uh, few years i also had to wait month for this device so we will test these two and i will not test it in my lab at least this is what i hope i hope that i can test it somewhere where we get very very accurate results so stay tuned for the assembly and the test of it is called current ranger and compared to dave's microcurrent gold a big one ah this came from banggood it is the new ts80 soldering iron and it has a completely new concept since quite a while i have this soldering iron from weller or a part of the soldering iron from weller and if we open up this one here and this one here we see they adapted now the same principle as weller to replay uh, to remove or to replace these soldering tips and replace them with different ones this one is a chisel this one is a, a round one and uh, usually i prefer the chisel type and this is the handle and you just plug it in like that and if we compare it with the ts100 the ts100 the ts100 has this barrel plug and this one has a usb c adapter and it is qc3 rated now i got this one a cable and a power bank so let's check how this works so we have five volts here and now i plug it in and i still have five volts now i switch it on and now it heats up and we have nine volts here so and it's quite fast so let's take also my solder it's set to 300 degrees no problems at all it melts the solder and it still has eight volt uh, nine volts and you see here it always switches on and off the current the current fluctuates here very much because it has a temperature control and you see also here in very small letters you see also 8.87 volts so you need a power bank which has 9 volt to get the maximum speed 
In the meantime, till this is cooled down, I show you the difference here. The concept of the TS100 is a little bit different, but the basic principle is the same. You can change also the, the different chisel type and a cone type. I plan to do a soldering video where I also cover the fume extraction and there I will do I will play around a little bit with this new soldering iron. It has a similar size. It's a little bit shorter, not much, but the quality here, this is aluminium and the display is also is the same. This is rated 12 to 4, 24 volts and uh, I have here a connector for a larger battery for a, uh, for a LiPo from a quadcopter. What comes with it? Uh, it has a QC3 rated power supply, 100 to 240 volt. Unfortunately, this time they didn't remember that I live in Switzerland. This is for the American market. So I'm glad I have this power bank here. And we also get a grounding lead, which can be attached here. It does not come with a soldering stand, so you maybe have to order a soldering stand with this soldering iron here. If you compare it with the conventional soldering iron I use usually, um, these are much nicer. Both of them are much nicer and also much faster. The only advantage for the moment is that this one has a fume remover. And uh, this is why I will show you, I have something in mind where we can do a simple fume extractor for the lab. And then I might replace this one with one of those. I hope part one of this mailbag was useful or at least interesting for you. And now you can start your shopping tour. You find all the links in the video description. Enjoy!